know it's genuinely impressive just how much lighting changes a video. I can't pretend it makes it a good video because that's that's all on me. But at the same time, at least you can see the bloody computer. My previous my previous video uh, featured my computer still half underneath my desk, so it's almost pitch black, and it was just me rambling on about it, where there was barely any light coming down from above. Can't pretend the lights particularly all that advanced now. It's just it's literally just the plant lighting because 420. But um but at least you can see it. And and it is something to look at. Uh the motherboard is a Maximus Hero V8, uh Skylake obviously, a Z170 chipset. Um has a H1 or sorry, a H60 uh water cooler, um all in one. It has a 970 GTX. It has, as you can see over here, 16 gigabytes of 2400 megahertz RAM. But um, I, I've actually considered upgrading that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, if I was to upgrade it, it would, pr it would be probably 3300 or higher. Um, but I just feel like you can more more readily and efficiently upgrade the SSDs um, than upgrade RAM, because if you do it now, it's just not, not gonna do anything for me. It's not gonna make any significant changes. Uh, my, my SSDs, uh, my sorry, my my main SSD is okay, but my hard drives are uh, they have to hold a lot of my other games. They aren't super essential or super heavy duty. Um, lay on top of my hard drives right now until I get proper SSDs because I spent all my money on these kind of components right here. But um, you can see a 650 GQ power supply as well in the corner. But aside from that, the core or base of this computer will most likely be what I have for the next few years. You can see the 970 trying to decide whether or not it wants to turn on now and again. Um, sorry, just after, over 60 degrees is when it finally turns itself on, and it sort of hovers because my computer is something of a heat box uh, around mid 50s. Um, in any case, uh, the motherboard, as I mentioned, is is set to be the base of my computer for the next four or five years, um, and I'm quite happy with it. The capability is way beyond what I was used to uh, with my previous computer. And I set this computer up specifically with a Frac Design R5, Deep Define R5, because I really like the uh, the inserts you can see here. Um, I haven't done a great job on cleaning them, but I I have been. So wow, that is a lot of dust. Um, they have had the benefit of through regular or semi-regular cleaning, um, keeping the inside of my case almost pristine. And I can't tell you how, how, after all those years of having gaming cases, it irritated me to have to deal with with pulling out open the inside after six months and realizing there's just a full-on carpet that had grown in, within. It was it was ridiculous, and it probably aged my, my components considerably. But in any case, because I'm running out of, out of room on this phone, uh, I essentially have the H50i, or H60, um, water cooler from Corsair. I have a 970 SSC Evga GeForce graphics card, um, which is giving me a little bit of issues. I think graphic, uh, graphic, sorry, driver-wise here and there. Um, I actually have one or two blue screens, but it's always run well for me otherwise. So I, I don't actually know what the deal is there. Um, everything else is, has run perfectly, and overall the computer has run great. Um, you can sort of see the back panel there. Well, actually, you really can't. Uh, it has four to six USB slots. I think it might have actually more than that. It has some USB 3.0 slots as well. Um, it obviously has sort of the enhanced I.O. shroud and... I uh, can't remember what those... Uh, I think the... I think those are capacitor cooling of some sort. There's three phases of power delivery and generally speaking they put that little metal bracket around there to try and... Essentially that's what cools the... Compa the 